Hello everybody, this is your boy delivering another podcast long overdue from the gang. If you guys want to be a part of future podcasts, just feel free to join the Discord server and um, hit me up whenever we are filming. We film every week, we're going to try to post one episode a week. Um, We talk about pretty much everything um, going on in the world and stuff like that. So if you guys have some spare time, just turn this on and vibe and make sure you subscribe. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys that are in the podcast and stuff like that. Um, It's actually kind of been a while since I've made another one of these because I think the last podcast I made was back in like June, maybe or May. And it's like October now. So I'm like, Jesus Christ, there's a lot going on in the entire world. But it's just going to be, I don't know, just kind of talking about everything. But the one thing I wanted to start off with, is anybody here from Germany? Yeah, me. I think all of yes. us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, tight. Here. Does anybody know what happened to Jesus? Because I, 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 I heard yeah, that he got locked no. up and stuff. Like, um, yeah, he got locked up because he yeah, um, to... he was. I love yeah. Why um, this in English? I guess. Mm. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, yeah, he was like very, Bl- um, very unpolite at the. Um, yeah. At the court. At the uh, Discord and um at the Discord. <laughs> no <laughs> for drugs and weapon Yeah, yeah no, weapons, um, drugs and something more, I think. Weapon uh, salary and drug salary. Damn. And and something else. Yeah, um, as well his uh, defender was very, very bad. That's crazy. Yeah, and and, and his um like he was something he had to, he had something else. Text me off Dutch. Was it was it, was it like uh was it like yeah yeah what's Because I I heard that he had like so I heard the about the whole drugs thing. He had drugs on him and stuff like that. Yeah always. And, and like it was always small the small little things but that, that it, it, were it, together. Oh, yeah, they, it, it all stuff. built up together kind of and boom. Yeah yeah yeah. And this I judge was very very so. unfair. Yeah uh, that's, uh, 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 that's cause, true. That's true. Cause Normally, he... it couldn't build up. Also in, in Germany, you, uh, your crimes doesn't stack up like in America. You can't yeah, get yeah. sentenced for this and that, and it adds up. So mm-hmm. um, I don't know can... what's really the point, but uh, I, I don't know why he got sentenced. Uh, like that? To serve. I don't know. Um, well, so. I know maybe why, because, you know, like... So he was stacked up for a raid? And the police is always watching him and want him into... want him in prison, you know, because he's always showing off in his videos that he sound drugs or he has weapons. And if there's just a little thing that he's doing wrong, I guess the police will instantly go to him and... But that's the thing. Him. When, um, you know, if the police do instantly go to him or whatever for any little infraction, they would charge him for whatever infraction he did yeah. to trigger him yeah. and not just wait. Because what, what it seems like they did is they waited for him to, like, get in a lot of trouble. Like, okay, cool. We see he's yeah. clearly selling drugs. Okay, cool. Now yeah. we see he's selling drugs. And he's, like, you know, stealing from these places. Yeah. Now we see he's selling yeah. drugs, stealing from these places and doing this. And yeah. then, like, they get him for all these different counts, which I guess, if, and if, according to you guys, like, um, you know, it's it's not normal to stack up a bunch of different offenses on top of each other and, and get you at one time, which I thought it, that's probably why it was weird that just got sentenced for such a long time, I guess, for yeah. those offenses and stuff. Now, here in America, to be fair, it's 1.6 years is not a long time for an offense yeah, yeah. like that because... And, um... Wait, I have something. Well, um, in if you are, you've been uh, to court because of violence or stuff. Or police known. So his... get in custody uh, more quickly. Wait, what? Yeah, if you did something like drug selling and you got free, or you didn't got any like um, charge, uh, and if you if anyone says that uh, you were in action. They uh, instantly check it that you have been under court under conditions. I don't and understand, bro. Leave. Like, it, w- w- I, I, I'm confused because it, it, I, I don't know what you mean when you say that. Like, are you saying? Um, yeah, ich meine das eher so, um, dass wenn man vorbestraft ist, dass die Polizisten dann wahrscheinlich 
Also, uh, what, what he's trying to say that that if you if you did something in, in the past or uh, if you're a person who's very fame or something like you you yeah. the police and the judges and something like that they know you yeah. so uh... they do something like they they think you're they're not they're not very very um they're not very fair good. in that fear yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that that's the problem that's like but it's human thing it's, it's like a disproportionate is... thing and then on top of that too yeah if like a judge needs to make a like a a prosecution and they have and like let and i know germany is probably not like america where america is pretty much thriving on prisons and stuff like that it's like a it's a business out here but like let's say that was the case and they're like oh we need to meet a quota we need to make sure that you know x amount of people get in trouble the first thing that's going to come to a judge's yeah. mind are people that are already super big on social media that flex like illegal stuff all the time they're like oh yeah. these guys are easy targets but yeah. the thing is it's not like the judge can come after them individually like the people get brought to the judge so the police actually get the judge uh, get the the people involved the judges just know about these individuals because of like viral videos or what have you and when they wind up in mm -hmm. their courtroom they're like oh i've seen your videos before oh oh, oh yeah, yeah you don't have any remorse you're saying that because you're in trouble but I've seen your videos like every, it, it, that. That's what sucks about the um, the Internet, I guess, if that makes sense. And I guess it's kind of where the I'm about to segue into a different topic, but um, it kind of sucks like a, uh, uh, that the Internet, you know, you, nothing dies. Nothing dies on the Internet. And that can be kind of like a an Achilles heel for everybody. For instance, like, let's say I say something like wild or whatever, right? But I've said it in my past or whatever. Like, let's say I've already like apologized for it. Everybody was there for the apology, forgive and forget, right? Well, let's say 10 years from now, which is also 10 years from the incident that I even said it. So that'd be 20 years from the time that I actually committed the infraction. The video retroactively goes viral again because some other person that wasn't there for the apology tour and stuff like that finds it and like, exploits that stuff you know it's like oh man like did you hear what he said about germany da, 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 da. and yeah, then like yeah. people are like yeah but then like think about it at 20 years from now like or like 10 years from now which is 20 years from the incident like there's a whole new wave of people that don't even know who i am so now they know me from that viral video that blew up again and so now i have to re-explain myself but it, does, it wouldn't even matter at that point because i think that's like those are i think the consequences the unintended con Yeah. Yeah. The judge. when it goes viral and stuff right yeah like um, you, you, james yeah you just uh you just uh went out for a second with your mic oh i did oh shit for well, about like was, 10 seconds uh, yeah oh. well what i was saying in that time is like i heard from a friend of mine that uh there is the judge and there are the judges which is the people's and, <laughs> yeah. and the judges have more to say than the judge and if you you can buy the judges well, t t yeah. well i i think I what you're talking about is the jury because there's the judge yeah. and like, yeah. the jury because like, it's not the judge judges it's like multiple I'm people i'm so sorry but no no it's, it's yeah. all, i know i know what you're talking about the jury is like and, and that's actually another sketchy little thing right so um in america i'm not sure how it is in germany um, we have yeah, like this thing jury. called uh, ju jury duty, I guess. Like you, you you're mandated mm -hmm. to do it. Like you'll they'll randomly send you a paper in the mail, and they're like, "Hey, mm -hmm. you need to take care of this." And then we're like, "Uh, what?" <laughs> and like like they get to yeah, show up at, yeah. at a certain we'll, date. We'll you you sit in a courtroom, and basically like they have you, um, you know, they go through different co uh, court sessions and stuff like that, and like you have to give your opinion on whatever like is going on. And if like yeah. the cases are up to a jury, that's literally like, I feel like that's what society is now, you know, like think about it, like elections and, 
and yeah. like politics and like laws that are even being created they're being created because of the backlash of people on the internet you know so like yeah you have a jury that's official in a court system and that works and stuff but i think what's working even better unfortunately because it, it is it's a double-edged sword are people on the internet like if enough people sign a petition right like please fire like, ma, ma, like i knew something was up and i and I'm, I'm using this example it's a lighthearted example but we can use more extreme examples later and stuff but like the sonic movie remember that like the sonic movie was so yeah, yeah. bad like literally so bad yeah. and they fucking like what? you know uh the, the public like literally made a big like outrage about it and stuff got a lot of dislikes mm -hmm. and the company was Shit. so mortified that they redid the movie like they redid the movie and well they, they they restructured the movie i should say so they made sonic look like how he was actually supposed to be now some people say it yeah. was a marketing scheme and da, da 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 that's a very easy way to cover up that whole debacle because i promise you if no one said anything they would have posted the initial movie and the initial movie yeah, would have cool. just like yeah, yeah. not done well like matter of fact imagine but if they never released the trailer like they never released the trailer until like you know a day before the movie came out which is a horrible marketing scheme in itself but that that, that that just sucks you know but like my whole point is like it the internet turned up and the internet's turned up before but nobody nobody listened because the internet was kind of a joke back in the day but now like you have old people and young people on the internet politicians yeah. and you know youtubers and twitch streamers and whatever and people are taking that shit super serious especially ad companies bro like that shit's yeah crazy. of course yeah yeah these are constructive but um, Fun fact to the Sonic movie. Did you know the German version of the Sonic movie, uh, Julian Bam speaks Sonic? Oh, yeah, that's, that's what true. it was. You know that's crazy. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. What? But, I only yeah, watched the video because seen... that's really funny. Wait, I have But a, I haven't seen movie. the movie. Um, I, I, I don't yeah. know. Uh, Julian Bam sp spoke yeah. the Sonic. I, I yeah. saw him sitting in so like a, 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 mo a movie chair <laughs> and like he had something behind him like and this was a picture from last year or something and I'm like is this mm -hmm. is this for the Sonic yeah. movie bro? Like, yeah it was Sonic movie. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I didn't know that he, I had so I thought that like he was just maybe like one of the people that helped with like the the visuals or something like that because I mean mm -hmm. uh, his brother Sean Boo does that and stuff right and Julian Bam occasionally helps out with stuff and of course you know Julian Bam's track record like he's made a lot of high 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 quality videos and stuff like yeah. that so it wouldn't yeah. surprise me yeah. if he if he helped in that aspect but the dude was actually in the movie that's insane man yeah he's he a just legend voiced, um, just sonic voiced from this yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah that's um, cool. <laughs> you know about the term in the internet shit storm yeah, yeah the biggest yeah. the biggest problem was Wait, just was, was like this, yeah, like yeah literally there are companies in the world that buy uh, that um sell packets of shit storm and i thought think the most expensive one was about a million years <laughs> for a shit storm <laughs> for a shit storm like why how amount. i mean i don't even know I don't so know. what is it because bro like uh, I guess we have two different definitions of what that is because a shitstorm, <laughs> figuratively speaking, right, is literally like just like, you know, let's say, um, you know, a car crashes into another car in the middle of the street and then like the car that the, the initial vehicle crashed into from behind hit like a lady with a baby that had a stroller like a, a baby like in a stroller and stuff and then the stroller falls over that's a shit storm because now you have a it's like a, a huge like it's like a, a pile of problems happening at the same time that's a shit storm okay and you're well, saying they're I selling problems <laughs> yeah like i didn't what? understand yeah. it either <laughs> this is a whole different meaning well what i define as shit storm is just i think it's only be on the internet so Wait, if I'm just someone does wait. something bad some content creator or something and his whole community just dislikes it it's yes. shit storm thing. yeah That's exactly okay. it's um, a scandal sure basically a scandal is yeah yeah, yeah. as uh, a very very big um backlash uh very very big um uh auftreten yeah, yeah no backlash. um appearance of negative critics that's the same against thing. the person yeah or it's a backlash yeah, yeah we, we that's what we just backlash. said in we literally just said that networks we, yeah we literally rocks. just said that so you're saying that like they they sold controversy yeah 
what? Burn. That doesn't make any no. sense. That, that makes zero sense. Yeah. That's like that's like me saying like, hey, yo, uh, Montana Black has a fat nose. Pass it on. Wait a minute. Before you pass it on, you owe me a million dollars. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, <laughs> like, I was also considering who would pay for that, you know? Yeah, pay but, for that? rumors are free, and people love spreading so rumors. People... Okay, okay, okay. Shitstorm S is costing 5,000 euros okay you have to shit explain we need background on this bro like what ten thousand bro bro bro, bro, bro. Shit we understand like it, it costs money but what are you talking about like is, is it like but why yeah yeah <laughs> okay. like, what, what why would someone buy it you know like, that's the question could, i don't no, know but we just no, learned this no no no, no. like here, here's the thing because i think everybody here is confused because we just we all conclusively explain what a shit storm is it's a problem and you're explaining that people are I'm paying for about problems. The costs. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, why would people pay for problems? Is our point. Like, why? It's like you. Like, okay, I'll, I'll, let me make it super simple. If you're in school, right, and you're getting bad grades on all of your homework assignments, right? Yeah. And and you and you're like, oh my god, I have bad grades. I'm like, oh good, now pay me. <laughs> like that doesn't make any sense. Like the, the shit storm is literally like you having bad grades. Your parents yelling at you and stuff, right? And of course, yeah. like you tell me this, and like you, it's like you're selling me the information. It. Yeah, I think it's like someone. As I mean, like a company, um, for example, Daimler, um, pay someone to, yeah, um, make a shitstorm storm on BMW, for example. Oh, you know? that makes exactly. sense. So okay, okay, because I'm like, bro, wait, what? Paying? So okay, that that that's another thing too, because I know there's places here that do the same thing. They'll set them up. Like, for instance, let's say you have like, uh, someone who is an avid PlayStation uh, console player, right? Like they hate Xbox with a burning passion, yeah. and their community, they're like, you know, they're they're PlayStation edge lords. Like if if you say anything Xbox related, they'll cancel you in a heartbeat. So, uh, let's say yeah, the, the shit storm yeah the the, the, the shit storm would be. Um, let's say somebody from the Xbox camp pays somebody from the PlayStation camp to lure him into an Xbox convention, but they get him super drunk, they lure him in there, then they take pictures of him in the Xbox convention laughing and even being on stage ap apparently talking to the to the masses, but to, what, what, in reality he just stumbled up on stage, said some dumb shit, and they like, you know, pu pulled him off. That's a shitstorm. And like that's a shitstorm that people paid for too cuz they're like, "Hey, like, yeah, you yeah. know, if you can make this happen, we'll pay you like $10,000 or 10,000 euro." Shitstorm yeah. is um is um a thing that <laughs> happens in the internet. I mean, it happens literally anywhere. It doesn't have to be the internet though. Yeah, but it's a term out of the internet. And I mean, shitstorm no, packaging no. I think in, in Germany is it's it's costing 2,000 euros with 15,000 comments wait a minute, it's and not... 5,000 wow. dislikes. Shit, Shitstorm actually wasn't created on the internet, though. It literally was made before yeah. that. Like, like it was... well, no um, one in Germany. Shitstorm, in the Shitstorm was there in, in Rome. Dude. Yeah, for real, dude. I'm like, not talking like... about the, uh, the curing of this. I'm talking about the term. Yes, yeah, I'm saying it wasn't made on the internet. Yeah. It's like, just a medium that changed. About this bullying. It's just, yeah, but that's Shitstorm too, bro. Yeah, exactly. Aber ich meinte einfach nur den Begriff. Ja, yeah, aber den gab's schon davor. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, we're just... Also, the, the, just the medium changed. Yeah, There exactly. was shit, Shitstorm in Rome too, about, I don't know, Cicero, Caesar, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> there was, but, the, but there it was maybe on letters or, I don't know, big or something like that yeah they just, it just trend it trend it's transcribed differently over time to to this you yeah. know like it, it's, yeah. it's, it's it's always been a term you know like it's like what the fuck? it's like saying like yo like it's like all the like let's say the word stupid right it's like oh stupid was a term made on the internet and i'm like wait 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 uh, i hate to break it to you buddy but um wait what <laughs> Nah, <laughs> nah. I'm tired and I'm getting a little bit stupid right now. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all good, dude. It's all good. I, I, that's literally me. I'm tired as, as God knows what. And it's not even late here, man. Like I know you guys. It's like what two in the morning or something? Three in the morning? Yeah, right? yeah. it's Friday. Yeah, yeah. Two, two. Yeah, it's like a.m. It's it's like seven here, right? It's like six or seven. It's six forty-eight, almost seven, pretty much. Well, what the wait? Fuck? P.M. or a.m. It's yeah. p.m. A.m. Is, is morning time. So you have like eight o'clock p.m. No, um, it's it's about to be seven o'clock p.m. It's about to be. It's six forty-eight right now. 
So 19, what? No, no, bei ihm ist es gleich 19 Uhr. Du musst Uhr. einfach, du musst einfach sieben, sieben Stunden minus rechnen. Dann weißt bei, du, bei ihm ist es gleich 19 Uhr. Uhr. Genau. So. So, Schilliges Leben. for us it's Friday, for him it's uh, first day. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So <lacht> if you make like, um, da ist so ein Lotto, das macht man so am Sonntag und dann am Montag kriegt man die Zahlen, kann man dann nicht theoretisch in die Lottozahlen dann in Deutschland Nein, weil das ja äh, länderabhängig ja, ist. Das ist ja ein deutsches Event. Das ist ein deutsches also, Event, das kannst du ja nicht. Aber ja. so ein internationales Event? <lacht> Na, denkst du, das denken die nicht, das berechnen die nicht vorher ein? Yeah. Uh, James, he talks about uh, that there is a small little, um, yeah, small gap. yeah. Okay, it's a big, big, <laughs> uh, like lucky thing. You you can it's it's like on Sunday or Mondays. There there are like it's a lottery. Yeah, it's a lottery yeah, basically yeah, lottery. where you can like. Um, but there there are many things that. Uh, like if you have a lottery on Sunday, but you get your numbers on. Monday can uh, and this starts in America. Can you go to Germany and it's like it's like already Monday in the, t the yeah. But the thing is, it's no. a national. Thing. No. Yeah. And then look, you gotta and take look, in, in consideration too when you travel. Think about the plane because when you're on the plane, the time changes on the plane too. So yeah, when you get sure. off, like uh, it's... I imagine, like if you're going hyper speed. Well, it's it's, it's that, just a stupid thing. Yeah, it's literally dumb. But like, you watched out. Like, it makes well, no like, sense. That's like saying, "What if I farted and it turned into gold?" Like this is like a dumb con. Like what the? F yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, um, so you guys do know that there's obviously like the election and stuff going on here. And, and everything and there's probably like, some pol yeah, political I mean. stuff happening over there I, I don't really get into <laughs> politics too much but has anything like changed at all like in germany as far as how they look at the america and stuff or yeah. is, is it like is everybody because i i talked to some guy from syria like i was on omegle and stuff and i happened oh, to yeah. bump into um this dude from syria and like he was basically telling me that it, like everybody from syria is watching like the, the 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 debates mad close and like even like yo whose mic is that I don't know. Not my. Uh, are you talking about Corona or what? Uh, the just no the, the election. Yeah, just the election. What? Somebody's mic. Yo, I'm gonna try to find out what that is. What? That noise is because does election. I think he muted it himself. It was Patrick, I think. I don't oh know. shit. Patrick. Yeah, but what um. Does election means in Germany. Oh, it's like when they vote for like a a. Uh, Why? Ah, like I know a, what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. What you mean. Like when they tr oh, vote Trump. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I guess I'm not picking any sides or, or whatever. I just want to know if, like, it's if, like, because, like I said, the, the guy from Syria that I interviewed basically said that, um, you know, he he and everyone else um, there were watching, like, everything that Donald Trump tweeted, like, closely and everything that, like, you know, was being debated closely because literally they said, like, you know, whoever's in power controls the rest of the world for the most part, yeah. you know, because you have, like, America... And then you have America, all of its allies and stuff. And then, like, you know, if, if like, they decide to do something crazy, then that, that like, one tweet for him would be the, the difference between whether or not he gets support um, or, like, people in Syria get support for whatever the cause uh, is out there and stuff. So it's crazy. It's, yeah, like, yeah. literally within a tweet. And I'm like, bro, like, that's insane. So I guess, like, the only reason why I brought this up is I'm like, hey, like, is this election important at all for the world, like, in general? Like, I yeah. Don't think it's that important in Germany. I think some people watch it, but Germany I think important. also Trump gets uh, displayed very, very bad in bad, yeah. German media. So yeah. we only <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we only really know. Okay, Trump is bad. So you only have another another. Uh, you know, I don't know how to say it. Um, yeah. You don't really have like a, a, I guess like you only have like what the media gives you pretty much, right? It's like oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so like if yeah, like well, there is nothing it, much you can say positive about him, right? Yeah, no, that's not right. He's well, the only president who <coughs> didn't start a war. Yeah, wow. Well, I mean, there, wow. Yeah, I was gonna say bro, what? this guy what? is on a roll. Today. But uh, it, it's it's not, it's not it's not that. Like there there are things if we're being real, right? Like there have been um, other things that he's helped with and yeah. everything. But I feel like it's it's. It's it's almost like this, right? You can do Stump a bunch of, of of uh, helpful stuff, like a bunch a bunch of nice uh, 
things or whatever, things that actually help people out. But if the way you present yeah. yourself and the way you come off to the public is very out of touch and stuff, then it's going to be, A, very hard to see that you've done. It's like, uh, I think my aunt gave me a, a really good example. It's like if you make Ugh. a pizza, like a really delicious pizza, and you're serving <laughs> it to everybody, but as you serve it to everybody, you puke all over it, dude. Like, I mean, the pizza what? was good. The pizza was good, pizza. but but like if you if you like throw up all over the pizza and try to give it to everybody, they're gonna be like, "Yo, get that shit away from me!" Like, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you? You know? Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah, what, I know what you mean. Yeah. So that that's <laughs> the best analogy I can describe it. So like, under all that puke is actually some really good, like really good stuff that has been done. Like for instance, I mean, it's not a surprise. Like, um, there have been uh, some economic changes that have helped america out for the better and stuff i feel like and I'm not, like i said i'm not a politician or anything but that's happened a lot but as far as social issues clearly that's kind of been a you know a thing or whatever i think it does some good but in german media they probably mostly display the bad things he does so also i think most people in germany they don't really care much about what uh, who's president in America. I think that's more. I think the example you brought up uh, earlier um, from Syria. It's they are more dependent on what happens in the USA. So we we're a stable country, I would say, in it for itself. So we don't depend on the USA. But it's different for Syria, you know. Yeah, but but the thing is, the the, the German media is very formative sarcasm. So it's like go there. There are so many different shows. They're they're good. They're very good. I watch them very very. Um, glad. But um, there are uh -huh. some things like uh, Heute Show. That's that's a um, German show or Extra Drei. That that's basically some um, German shows that are um, going into political things and uh, yeah. Do uh, sarcastic, sarcastic things about it, and that's that, that's funny, dude. Uh, but it's just like um, I think some people do understand it, some people don't really care, and some people just I don't know, just yeah. hate it or are just uh, bored of him. That's spritz yeah. den Leuten Desinfektionsmittel. Damn. Not it. Yeah. Um. And that come out of Syria because of the war and when I go with him to his work I talk to those people and I listen to their stories and it's and? really really scary to hear yeah. those stories yeah but that's not the topic right now <laughs> yeah um so yeah I, I was just curious about that or whatever um another thing I, I guess you guys have kind of seen like Obviously, at this point, dude, I'm on the on the roll, man. Of the, the, the German grind, dude. Like memes and da 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 da, like everything, man. And it's so funny because I'll wake up and I'm like, dude, like there is literally no way I can post any more German content on my channel. There's no way. And then I wake up and I'm like, I have three more ideas, three more ideas. And I'm like, there's. <laughs> it's like live to die another day. I'm like, dang. Yeah, but you did, you did a very very big topic. Yeah, well, you're, you're trying to 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 Germany. No, that that's not what I'm trying to say. Yeah. The thing what I'm trying to say is that that's a, that's a whole country with like 80 million people in it. So you want to cover? Oh, true, 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 true. Channel, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 80 million people, dude. Like, that's that's huge. That's literally huge. Like, yeah. and so and I, and here's how I look at it too, right? Because like one of my friends is like, bro, there's no, you're eventually gonna run out of stuff to make, and I'm like, no, you got to think about it. Germany is yeah, just the, is like a country. It's just like America. You can take America or Germany. Every single thing you search in America, you can translate over to German and vice versa, right? So yeah. like yeah. for me, like, I, and that's that's actually how I got the idea to react to like memes and stuff. I was like, oh, because like <laughs> I, I was looking at like everybody else that was like, uh, you know, making reaction reactions in America and stuff, and they're always like, oh, make sure you stand out a bit stand out a bit whatever right so in my head one day i'm like you know what let's see if there's any german meme compilations on the internet so i just typed in german meme compilation and of oh, course the very first thing that popped up dude <laughs> was like this world war ii 
meme compilation about Germany. And of course, it was just Hitler and Nazi <laughs> jokes and stuff like that, right? And I'm like, oh my God. So, of course, like, I went, oh, maybe this is like what they like, they watch out there and stuff, right? So I'm like laughing and giggling That's and everything. Beautiful. And then people were looking at the, at the and people in the comments are turning up. They're like, bro, what are you watching? Like, this is like some serious <laughs> that, stuff. That's a, a German humor. Yeah, I'm just like, damn, man. Like, that's crazy. So yeah, like, then uh, I actually stumbled across one like meme compilation page. I think it was called like Z Zippy or something like that. Or like, it was no, it was like um, meme, <laughs> meme. Yes, yeah, Zippy. And like, uh, yeah. I, I <laughs> yeah. So I was watching. It's like uh, your little feet yeah, down there. Yeah. So I literally. Um, was uh reacting to meme compilations from that that thing because it's like oh deutsch memes so i looked up deutsch memes bro there was literally no channel that made deutsch memes like none and i'm like what so uh i feel like all those deutsch meme channels bro they all started like around like at, like fall of last year because that's when i started reacting to them or at least the small ones and then unga was reacting to the like the ones that blew up you know and i feel like he started yeah. doing that at the end of last year beginning of this year because i looked at their growth and i'm like man they've had a substantial amount of growth and every video they post gets like a hundred thousand views or whatever and that's because a lot of the biggest streamers are watching their videos and stuff like uh, and it's multiple it's not just unga because if it was just unga then yeah people would watch them but i don't think they would have as many views as if like unga and uh kenosi and uh papa plata and like a bunch of other people like occasionally stumbling up on these meme channels so I, I was checking that out and i'm like damn like you know i was looking at the reaction channels in america and i'm like yo the biggest reaction channels react to viral content in general which is what i'm going to start doing uh very very soon you're going to see kind of a shift in the channel a bit not saying i'm dropping off on german content at all but i'm adding another fucking additional wave to the channel and uh yeah like I, i'm like yo there's got to be like viral stuff in germany too that's like the same thing but it's in german so i like looked it up and i'm like oh nice so the discord was cool to make and create like last year because people like, I mean, like you guys and stuff, right? Like you guys would know what's trending in Germany and whatever. You're like, oh yeah, make sure you check this out, da 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 da. And like, that kept me on top of everything. So the funny thing is, if you watch the very first like uh, German meme reactions I did, I didn't understand anything, yo, anything. <laughs> I was just looking at the, at the video itself because you can still laugh and not understand the words of a meme. You know, like it's simple. Like you just look at the video and if something funny happens, you laugh. Like that's, it's like funny is funny. It doesn't matter if you understand the, the context or not. Um, but it makes it more, more funny when you do. So I'm like, you know what? Like it's time to learn some Deutsch. Huh? Wie gut ist dein Deutsch? Kannst du dich schon mit mir Deutsch unterhalten? Uh, ich, 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 ich kann Deutsch, uh, aber mein Deutsch ist nicht, nicht so gut. Um, uh, I wouldn't say that. Dein Deutsch ist ziemlich gut. Well, you can probably understand most of it, right? Also, yeah, yeah, most yeah. of what we say in German, so yeah. it's pretty good. What would we remember as I joined on the server and I was told James always listens to our conversations in Germany in German and he always learns and then I kind of got scared. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you that addicted and obsessed by Germany? That was yeah, that was always that always interested me. Yeah, that's a really good question. Yeah, yeah, okay. So let, let's get into that real quick. And this is actually this is what I, what I wanted to make the podcast for so we can talk about a bunch of random stuff and this is going to be one of the big things i hit on so uh and I, I got this question on my twitch and i answered it there but i guess to, the wholesome thing is um basically when Ooh. i found out that my german audience blew up right i'm like oh okay cool not prior to all this obviously i had plans on traveling to germany myself just because um in the military one of the best bases to go is ramstein air base like every yeah, single yeah. person in the entire military and even in, the, in america right everybody desires to go there that's like vacation you know so if you get stationed there dude that's like the motherland like no one has ever said a singular bad thing about germany especially uh, the base and stuff uh, out there but yeah. no one i met has ever said anything bad about germany so that was my motive my driving force to go but to learn and be obsessed as i'm obsessed right now was a hundred percent because of youtube like literally like when my audience blew up uh it initially blew up because i made a reaction to sure and david's video with um with gibbs or gims or whatever the french artist 
the on off yeah. yeah 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 like the on off thing i was making fun of his voice i'm like on off on off yeah like and then the fucking uh, like uh, <laughs> sound like the guy from Tourette. give it time yo, uh, literally yeah, that's what ah, about. yo fact, yeah. <laughs> literally the so the the video blew up and then my audience like spot like it, it like blew up out of control and stuff and i'm like oh well let me look at and i was reacting to other things too but i was noticing i'm like wait a minute like the most engagement <laughs> happening on the German videos and stuff like that, right? So I thought this was wholesome because your boy already planned on traveling to Germany one way or another. If I never got stationed out in Germany, I would still at least make a trip out there to see my friends because I have at least like 30, 40 friends that live out in Germany right now, like that are American. So I'm like, I'm going to go out there eventually, you know? So I'm like, wait a minute, since my audience is primarily German, maybe I can start, you know, switching most of the stuff on my channel to German stuff because, and then, I, and then I can indirectly learn the language. And that happened shortly after doing the meme reactions and stuff like that, whatever. And um, I started like, first it was just meme reactions. Then it was like fun fact videos, travel tip videos. These are all the things that I would normally look up by myself to get prepared for Germany, like before I go. But I'm like, why not just react to that on my channel? So I already have like a really good understanding of what it is before I go, because now, Bro, I feel like I know the country very well before even going, having stepped foot in the country. Like, I know what to say for the most part, where to go for the most part, like what my plan of travel is going to be for the most part, where to go and where not to go for the most part. Like, and that's just off of watching hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of videos. <laughs> I, I thought that like people would get tired because, you know, I know what they say, though, you know, on YouTube, if you stick to a routine for too long, um, you know, uh, obviously you know, uh, people are going to, I don't know, just, <laughs> they're going to get bored. They're going to get bored. So I'm like, you know what, maybe I should, should do something different, you know, like, um, you know, switch it up every now and then whatever. But the mm -hmm. people kept watching. I don't know why, but people kept watching. <laughs> I feel like people are like, curious, like there is no way this man's about to like <laughs> make some like more German related content on his channel. Three, four videos a day for like almost two years. That's a little disturbing. <laughs> like what? So I, I, yeah. So hopefully that answered your question because I know like everybody's. Like, you're not the only bro. Trust me. Like I, I'm. I'm pretty sure like seventy percent of people have asked me the same question. They're like, "Yo, like, why are you obsessed with Germany like this?" Now I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm like weird about it or anything either. Like I'm not about to like go into Germany and start like touching all over people. Like, wow, German skin, German hair. Oh my god, German oxygen. Oh, German structure. Oh. oh, oh. No, 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 no. It, it, it's literally like the the obsession came from making YouTube videos because one way or another, I was going to post like four or five videos a day. And I'm just like, oh, well, I mean, since the, my audience watches this and I want to learn more about this, this is our very good, like, you know, crossover between like, you know, me and the community and stuff like that. So I'm like, let me just, you know maximize my knowledge in Deutschland yeah. real quick. Yeah, I have watched your video. What's the statement to Niemals Unter Tausend? Huh? Yeah, but that's, that's Finnish one topic. What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have a Frage, it's my light. No, it's not a good thing. Yeah. Man. No, let's do it. 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 Yeah, but that's 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 pretty much the, the the big deal. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. But to add to that, I think, um, also, at least for me, I think the most thing what I'm interested was, or what I was <laughs> interested in your channel was when you started reacting to German YouTubers, because I think there's are yeah. many uh, American YouTubers who are reacting to German music, but for me, at least, I think you're the only one who is also reacting to German YouTubers and other German content except um, except music, you know? Yeah, I also noticed uh, that as well for, for myself. But I, I took, so the YouTuber thing, that was something that was 100% unexpected. <laughs> like, unexpected. <laughs> that happened, and I'm glad it happened because of this Discord. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, guys, drop videos in the little, like, video section and stuff, and then I'll check them out. And then, like, the recommendations I was getting were YouTubers. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. the hell like how am i gonna finish yeah, my sure. way out of this like this is crazy <laughs> but it was actually funny because i'm like you know what like um 
I don't understand what they're gonna be saying. So for some of the videos, I didn't understand. So I just go off of like body language and facial expressions. But I started noticing over time, like, you know, what gesture was associated with what word. And of course, like I started like yeah. actually taking lessons and stuff <laughs> online and then listening yeah. into like in the conversations in Discord. So it helped a lot. And now like I could watch pretty much most YouTubers and understand like a good 70 to 80% of what they're saying. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is hilarious. Uh, understanding, like, okay, I'll put it this way. Watching Kenosi's streams before I understood German was already <laughs> funny because the dude is wild. But watching it after, mm -hmm. understand. <laughs> He's just loud as fuck, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he says some wild <laughs> shit. Oh, like, oh, you know, uh, it doesn't matter what he screams. It's funny <laughs> when he screams, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. And I think what also helped too was whoever translated Julian Bam's like uh, Azotio oh, no. se series and stuff like that, like the Mechen in Azotio, uh, like oh, the no. yeah. like a four part series or whatever, like whoever translated that, I know they did a pretty messed up job, but they did a, a decent enough job to where I understood most of it. Because I did notice like halfway through that some of those translations were trolls. And I'm like, oh my god, because like I was watching Julian Bam react to like my reaction, and he's like, bro, who translated this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think the, that's because uh, Julian Bam use uh, he uses many like original that. words, you know, that are not um, easy to translate. That, that just, is true. It doesn't make sense when you translate them word by word. So the trans the, the auto translation is pretty fucked up because it makes no sense, but Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well I appreciate it hundred percent. Yeah, that's it's crazy. I'm I'm actually gonna obviously start checking out more people uh very very soon. People wanted me to react to Inscope Einsenzwanzig and uh Gavita M Konkigen. <laughs> And um, Papa Plata. <laughs> Papa Plata reminds yeah. me of uh, of uh, Call Me Carson. He's like Germany's Call Me Carson a little bit because he's like super awkward <laughs> and like. I have a question. Yeah. Let, let it, the... Is your aim to cover whole Germany in your freaking channel? I mean, maybe. Is there a problem with that? No, but it's a little bit crazy. Huh? Isn't he already covering whole Germany? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's like, I mean, yeah. let everybody do his thing. What the hell? I don't understand it. Yeah, and what's the problem? I have no problem. I have no problem. Can I just say something? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so, I like the thing that, for example, Sasha is using uh, your clips um, and I like the international thing that's going on right there. Yeah, yeah that's really funny. Yeah. That <laughs> that's just... <laughs> I mean, that was the hilarious. second meme, you know, where he just, it's just the uh, the meme where he said, uh, Sasha, is, is that Sasha in the old days where he had hair? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's, it's just the same meme again. <laughs> Just with you reacting and Sasha reacting into it again. Over and over yeah. again. This is gonna be like a, a never anything. So I, it's funny because that's exactly how uh Kenosi and I even like started yeah. interacting at all because I reacted to one of his videos, his community told him about it, he reacted to it on stream, so then I reacted to his reaction, and then he posted a reaction of him reacting to my reaction, of him reacting to me, <laughs> on oh YouTube. God, Reaction. It was so funny. His face. I think I had the... First, the... I think I go to bed. Alright, take care. Yeah. Also, wie alt bist du eigentlich? Ich? Was ist denn bei dir? Nee, bei nur. 15. Bruder, was ist denn bei dir, dass du alles kommentierst? Das ist mein ja, ich bin 14. Ich ja. Alter. Was ist denn mit dir, dass du so aggressiv wirst? Das, das ist echt schön. <lacht> <lacht> Na dann, Leute, eine gute Nacht. Ja, gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Ja, gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. <lacht> ich mach das ja nicht extra. Passiert halt. Nein, nicht ich meine halt nur. Das ist so, ich du weiß, musst du nicht kommen. Ich bin auch am überlegen, rauszugehen, um euch nicht weiter zu nerven. Hm. Alles gut. Ähm, 
Yeah. To um, was something. Yeah. I, 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 is there anything else going on, like in uh, in Germany, I guess, or just in general? Or yeah. Like... Yeah. Corona. You know, I'm I'm living in in Bavaria, mm -hmm. um, and Munich has yeah the most. I think probably the most uh, the highest. Um, amount of infections right now i don't know it exactly but i think so yeah. um, getting pretty crazy hmm? out there yeah and the, and the thing is i'm going to school still and uh yeah it's it's so fucked up dude it's, it's literally there's nothing there were like concepts of like opening the windows opening the doors to like get some uh, air, fresh air and something like that but it's not working it's literally not working <laughs> dude it's it's like our, our windows are not, are not are not getting opened wide enough because they're like uh like half the way closed they they can't go wider wider open and um the everybody who's sitting like more than the half to the right is getting the the air from the 20 30 meter long um hallway in the right into the face and gets ill and now i'm two weeks at home because i'm ill and that's like fucking dude it's not working yeah it's crazy and if it's if it's get very 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 very, very cold and I'm, I'm living like close to the alps it, it's getting very cold here we had like one year ago we had like a really big fucking snow um, oh, and we had like two weeks no school because of snow and dude if it gets so fucking cold, <laughs> I don't know what kind of what to do. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, that's like what's happening out here too. It's absolutely insane. Like it's getting super, 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 super. Like um, well, it's not it's not getting super, super cold yet, but it is starting to cool off. And for me in Florida, like yeah. it's not nearly as bad. To be honest, it's not nearly as bad. Like uh, it went from like ninety degrees to like sixty degrees, which for us is a massive drop. So it makes it feel like it's super, super, super. Like I guess in um Celsius, what would that be? Like forty degrees to like like thirty two two degrees or something like that. So like for us, that would be like a massive that's drop. Cold and, for you. Yeah, I would. Thirty two like, would be very warm. I think that's yeah. summer. <laughs> 40 is if i think about that i'm going to swim at a pool that is like 15 degrees or Do, even cold. are you able to translate to fahrenheit like really quick like 32 degrees no nah, uh, i don't uh, think so yeah none of us i think because no, it's like <laughs> why, why to translate it <coughs> sorry are you measuring at fahrenheit i'm sorry yeah, yeah. so uh, it's just like 60 60 fahrenheit is like i don't know 30 30 something like that a bit more 40 flat maybe yeah so yeah it's definitely it's, it, it's it's exactly 60 fahrenheit it's 50 15.5 yeah. celsius yeah yeah oh, so if we yeah yeah so it's from 90 to 60 is that right yeah so yeah. you've yeah. gone to yeah yeah, that, yeah. that's 32 30 to 15 about yes yeah Yes. Yeah. That yeah. that that's warm to yeah, cold. <laughs> yeah, but it's probably <laughs> almost the same. Yeah, like, it's it's Germany. like almost yeah, true, true. But more maybe not from thirty two, maybe from like twenty eight, because it wasn't that warm, for my part. But I don't know how it was in the rest of Germany. Yeah. Wenn es kalt ist, wenigstens ist es nicht so heiß. Ich bin ja Britte, ne? Ich gehe ja eingefühlt bei 20 Grad. Mhm. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh... Absolutely insane. Yeah, um, I, I, I don't know. Like, I just wanted to obviously do the whole podcast thing probably more often. I'm going to probably post one up like once a week. I'm pretty sure like, you know, it's, a few people might watch, a few people might not. But I think it would be something pretty interesting just to talk about whatever is happening for that week. I remember... Uh, there was that thing with Lord Donna that happened a while back, a while back, but um, people started memeing it because the people that she affected came out and started like exposing her, like, hey, she fucking stole like $700,000 from us, and da 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 da. And I'm like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> Isn't she like a millionaire, dude? Like, what the heck? But I came to find out that that was something yeah. that happened, like, you know, before she got famous and stuff, you know? Uh, that's how she made her money. And, bro, the way she scammed those, like, that family was like kind of savage man like her brother scammed him already 
um, for for like for something or whatever, right? And so they wanted to hire a lawyer to sue the shit out of them. Well, she posed as a lawyer and they paid her like 200k and i'm like dude yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. she uh he um they they both learned about i don't i don't know they 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 know about a dating platform i think i don't know it exactly but um at the at first they she was very like he said he needs money for i don't know like an operation or something i don't know like like something in that direction and yeah mm-hmm. that was basically the part damn so basically <laughs> basic scammers yeah. yeah the most basic level of scammers like hi i'm a yeah, prince yeah. from you know zimbabwe da, 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 yeah da, like send over thirty thousand dollars so i could free my sister or some shit like it's like what <laughs> and people do it like it's 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 so yeah. have you guys so we have a show here i'm not sure if you guys have seen it um okay. 90 day fiance <laughs> it's it's the craziest show so basically like to get like a citizenship here right like and i'm pretty sure it's the same in germany like after 30 days or after 90 days um of i think holding like your your green card or something like that like you become a citizen or something something like that something along those lines like like uh it's for, for marriage for marriage right so if you're like together like if you get married right and you're together longer than 90 days then um you know you are eligible to become a citizen or whatever you don't automatically become one but you can like you know you can apply and you know become a citizen and stuff like that but basically what it is the show isn't called 90 day fiance because you have people from all over the world marrying people from america right and it's (laughs) it's the funniest shit because like the most of the people that get married dude are like basement dwellers dude like they're like these like guys that no not one girl in america would ever like bat an eye at right like not one girl in the entire plant like oh no completely no right but then they'll meet some incredibly hot like girl from i don't know russia or uh i don't know singapore or something like that and they're like wow like this nerd got this amazing woman like how is that even a thing but then the woman's (laughs) revealing behind the scenes on camera she's like yeah i gotta stick it out for 82 more days (laughs) (laughs) in germany it's it's not 90 days it's two years but it's probably the same Oh, so the ninety what? Well, the ninety day thing is so it's not to get it citizenship; it's for something else. Then, because it's it's a path to citizenship, okay. but it's something. Um, dang, I gotta look it up. So the ninety day th- rule. Let me look that up really quick because I need to know what that is. Because I know I just gave some misinformation, and you know the internet now and their independent fact checkers and stuff. Thank <laughs> thank you, Facebook. <laughs> uh, rule. I'm not using Facebook for uh, no? about. Three years or something, you know. Meine Freundin hat mir gesagt, also es ist ja so komplett, äh, nicht komplett zum Thema. Cool. Dann reden wir später drüber, okay? Let me see. I think it's right here. So it's, oh, to solve that problem, uh, the US CIS uses the 90 day rule, which states that temporary visa holders who marry or apply for a green card within 90 days of arriving in the United States are automatically presumed to have misre. Misrepresented their original intentions. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So the 90 day, okay, here it is. The 90 day rule is in place to check for any violation of their non immigrant uh, status for the first 90 days of the date of entry. The violation includes any activity that is inconsistent with the temporary status granted. This new 90 day rule replaces the old 30 60 day rule, which essentially serve the same purpose. So if you came to america with the intention of marrying somebody within 90 days then you can proceed with the uh the the process i guess the um immigration process but if you after the 90 days it it came it came out that like you flew there for like you know reasons that didn't align with what you said because you know like when you fly to any country they're going to ask you why you're there like hey why are you here (laughs) it's like oh i'm here to see my spouse or oh i'm here on business like if you're if you say you're here on business and you know they catch you twerking at like you know a Las Vegas club or something, it's like bro, like what the fuck's going on, man? Is this your work? You didn't tell me you were a stripper. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's your work. <laughs> I mean, it is it is work technically, you know, but damn, yeah. <laughs> you have to fly international for this. <laughs> Poles are free, man. <laughs> Yo, facts. Oh, I think it's different. You know what I, I 
uh, in, in Germany, it's like you get uh, the German citizenship if you're married to a German, you know, a German spouse or a husband. You after two years you can get uh, German citizenship. But I don't know. I don't know how it is in America. If you can even get it through, if you can even even get citizenship through marriage i don't I know think, if you know about it i i'm not entirely sure i i think that's the whole point of 90 day fiance because i know if you get married to like an american citizen then they can expedite the process and become a, a, a i guess a citizen of the united states through that process or whatever right and i think it's it's definitely after 90 days it's after 90 days because you're being closely observed to make sure that you're not violating you know the like you know the whole reason why you, you're there and whatever but I guess I don't know. But I'm you not... can't be an American citizen after 90 days, right? You just you are allowed to be there, you know, with your spouse or husband, whatever, you know. But you don't get uh, a right to be a citizen. Yeah, think, yeah, right? it's not, it's not it's not automatic. I don't think. Yeah, yeah it's not automatic. Because um, I know for a fact, if Germany, if it takes two years, then I know America's got to take a little bit longer than. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I, I also thought that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've heard that like there's it's, people it's, that. Like who've been here for like ten plus years that still haven't become citizens, but they've had a visa. If that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, I think it's more. I think it's easier to, you know, have a citizenship in Germany than in America. I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah, man. And that if you notice, oh, so I did. So I I was watching this guy who I got into like a copyright dispute with, but he's actually cool. He talked behind the scenes. He's like, oh, okay, cool. Bygones are bygones. But the dude's name is Evan Edinger, and he made a video. He, he's like an American guy that traveled to uh, England. Now, he's just as obsessed with England as I am with Germany, right? So he made a video on, um, a, it was a one-off random video, right? So I, I watched it, and it had to do with taxes and America and people that don't live in America anymore. So I didn't know this, but if you're working a job in a foreign country, you still have to pay taxes in the state of origin that you were born in in America, even though you're not living in America anymore. So what he's like, that's that's dumb because you didn't not, not a single ounce of your income came from America at all. So like, why is why is their hand in, in this kind of pot? So uh, he's like, oh, I'll just renounce my citizenship. Well, America, right, has this thing where to renounce your citizenship, I think you have to pay like $2,000, uh, somewhere around there, right? $2,000 to renounce your citizenship and you're not allowed to come back <laughs> to visit anybody. Yeah. It's like a slap in the yeah. face. They're like, oh, ha, well, you can't be a part of the greatest nation in the world. I'm like, dude, like, but oh, that's the same in Germany. Really? That's the same. I, I, I don't think it's that strict, or I don't know, I don't really know, but... For example, um, when I would work in Switzerland, yeah. it's, you know, it's just um, I could walk there probably. Yeah. Um, but um, cool. if I would work there, then um, I would also have to pay uh, taxes there and taxes here because, and you can't just um, say, yeah, I just want to pay taxes there because you're living here. Also, if you would, um, yeah. That's you know, you get what I'm saying. It's yeah, of just, course. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. the same thing. I don't know if it's that strict in America, but because I know America take their citizens really seriously. Oh yeah, <laughs> they they do, man. That's Germany the... Germany doesn't really do that. So yeah, they're, they're often oftentimes more friendly to foreigners than they are to their own citizens. Ooh, dang, that sounds like my last relationship. <laughs> Yo, but yeah. uh, literally, like it's crazy because uh, I, I I heard that well. I mean, obviously, like the big topic here is is obviously the whole immigration thing and da 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 da. But I also heard that through the the video, that, yo, is that Noah's mic, bro? I'm about to mute Noah, dog, because <laughs> your mic keeps acting up. Um, but <laughs> anyways, the my my whole thing is in the video. He's basically saying that like I think nine million people from America tried to renounce their citizenship um in 20 either 18 or 2019 i gotta go and check those numbers but either in 2018 or 2019 regardless of the year that's a lot of fucking people trying to renounce their citizenships so they can go live overseas and become citizens of other countries but america won't show that obviously because it doesn't look good right it doesn't look good at all yeah. it's like what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> it's like why would you want to you know get rid of your citizenship to the greatest country in the world. <laughs> but, but they're making a lot of yeah. money from this. So. 
Yeah, that is yeah. true. And it's just petty, you know? It's petty. It's like it's like a <laughs> join or die mentality. It's like, oh, like, you know, be become part of us forever or suffer our, our wrath, you know? <laughs> and they're like, you were never a part yep. of us. Like, But I don't understand it. So you like, when you are living in America and you're going to Germany and want to be a German citizen, so this is your right to decide what a citizen you want to be. True. So but why a... the fuck do you have to uh, pay to two thousand dollars to America just to be uh, a citizen of Germany? So. Well, the thing is, I think what you um, probably misunderstood. It's not to just be a citizen of Germany. It's to renounce your citizenship of America. Because remember, you can have dual citizenship. You can like. Like if, if like uh, I wanted to be a citizen of America and Germany, then of course I could do that. But that's where the initial problem comes into play. <laughs> like, uh, like basically, basically where you're paying taxes in two countries and stuff like that. But um, <coughs> yeah, that was already mentioned earlier. Like the Switzerland example and stuff, like paying taxes there and you know Germany as well. Working in Switzerland, living in Germany, it's like, well, damn, bro, you gotta pay taxes in two places. <laughs> Which isn't it? Yeah, so, the thing is true. but it could be worth. It could be worth. So, so like I have a question about that too, because the way we do taxes here, like we already have federal and state taxes. So we have state taxes. Like, like let's say for instance, Florida has no state taxes, but let's say it did. So it has state taxes. So you have to pay that every year, right? And at the same exact time, you have to pay federal taxes, which is like for the entire United States. So is that how the Bundesländer works? Like you play, you pay taxes for like no. uh, Baden-Württemberg no. and then the EU altogether. No, no. You you pay no. taxes to Germ uh, to um, the country, you know, but mm -hmm. not in the in the Bundesland. You just pay it to the Regierung, and it's in every in every part of Germany. It's the same. Mm -hmm. It just um, differs in about if you have if you are married or not, and you know then you get to pay uh, pay less taxes. But if you are um, you know, on your own, working somewhere, everyone's got to pay the same amount of taxes. And you don't pay it uh, once a year. You pay. You don't even get the money. You pay in taxes. It's... Uh, it, it's uh, I'm missing the word now. Sorry. Um, okay. you, don't, you don't even um, get your full money. It's... Oh, um, yeah. You pay the taxes before you get your money, you know? So, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Like it's like so you don't even have to worry about taxes. You just get less money. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but only if you if you work some somewhere. If you're on your own and uh, I don't know, you're a yeah, YouTuber or something like that. And then yeah, you, so I was gonna yeah. say that, bro. You, you have to you have so to screwed, like care dude. about yourself. Yes, and that that yeah. sucks so bad, yo. So last year when I got paid from YouTube, I'm like awesome. Like this is amazing. And then like. It wasn't amazing when tax season rolled around. I'm like, Ugh, uh, uh. yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, that, that's, that's... I, it sucked, bro. Because you're you're ind you're an independent business at that point. And the the yeah. shitty thing with that is they tax independent businesses way higher, dude. Way higher. Like, yeah, the normal average person working underneath the corporation, right? And you get taxed a certain percentage, whatever. Especially if like you make under a certain amount. Well, if you're an independent business, it doesn't matter how much you're making, you get taxed at least 30%, at least. So it's just like, damn, bro. Like, yeah. and if let's say you made like a thousand dollars, dog, like, I mean, you're going to take home 700, which, you know, to some people might be like, oh, that's not that bad, but that's still $300 of a thousand dollars. Yeah. So I got into this argument. And I know this is probably going to annoy people when I bring this up, but, um, it was like people at work that I worked with, right? And they're like, I don't understand like why rich people complain about high taxes. They're making millions and millions of dollars. I'm like, well, I tried yeah, to put it in. True. Well, here's the thing. Like I tried to put it in perspective. Like, let's say you guys make 10 million a year, right? 10 million a year, right? And like, let's just say for this example's sake, your expenses are only $50,000 a year. So that's food, bills, water, da, da, da. Now you make 10 million a year and you're, expenses are 50,000. But when you, when tax season comes around, you're paying $5 million in taxes because of the bracket you're in. 
right? You're making 10 million a year. Let's just say yeah. rich people get taxed 50%. That's gonna low key get under your skin. Cause it's like, I'm making $10 million, but where is this $10 million going? It's like the government's like, thank you so much for your contribution to society. Thank you so, so, so much. Cause if yeah, you think about I... it, like it, 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 it almost discourages people from making that much money. Cause think about it. It's like, if I wanna make $5 million and have that to myself, cause think about it, when you make money, when we make money, we expect to keep the money that we make. Like if I, if like, if, let's do the the Unsan uh, eBay transaction, right? If I ask, uh, let me use your username, uh, Split, right? If I ask Split, like, um, hey man, like how much do you want for you know your bike? And you you say a hundred oido, right? And I slide you over like thirty. And I'm like, yo, you, be happy that you got money, bro. Like, be happy. Like, like yeah. uh, th this is a, sh a shipping and ha uh, a traveling tax. I traveled from my house to yours to get the bike. So <laughs> give me the bike. <laughs> You're like, oh, hell, you'd be pissed. That expression right there, bro, is exactly what I'm talking about because that's how yeah. like, people, like millionaires feel. Now, I understand everybody's like, well, they should be happy because they're millionaires. I'm like, well, that's the same argument of saying you should be happy that you got any money instead of no money. You know, like it's the same our argument. The, but obviously the, the 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 counter argument that a lot of people use is like well millionaires make way more money than us so it's different so here's my proposal right what if everybody got taxed 10 percent? everybody got taxed the exact same because think about it bill gates getting taxed 10 percent of his income right like 10 percent of his income because let's say he brings in 50 million a year 10 percent of 50 million is going to literally shit on like uh the, the the entire country right and that, that's paying 10 percent of forty thousand dollars <laughs> like what i mean that's like a no-brainer yeah. so no matter how you slice the pie rich people are always already going to be paying a significant amount of money um over like people who aren't rich so why not just tax them at the same percentage like i don't see the point in taking more money right like it's it kind of sucks because there's always going to be that that middle ground like let's say you're not wildly rich but you're starting to get there and you fall off the next year so you're like oh cool like like let's say the cutoff i'll, I'll put it this way there's a tax bill that people are trying to push here in america that's like people are going to start ex experiencing increased taxes if you make over four hundred thousand dollars a year right let's say you made four hundred and five thousand dollars one year and the following year you make twenty thousand dollars so the year that you make four hundred and five thousand dollars, let's say they tax you sixty percent. Well, um, after all those taxes, you basically have like let's just assume you you might have twenty thousand dollars saved for yourself, which is good. Not a lot of people have twenty thousand dollars saved, but bruh, when you look at how much money yeah. you made and you look at how much went to taxes, that is always gonna get under your skin. Like it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, is this like just to put a, it's like a pacifier for the people or something like people like well, watching rich people suffer or some shit like <laughs> I think kind of, <laughs> but I think the, the um, that's also the reason why rich people buy, uh, you know, gold watches or something like oh, this because yeah. they need to spend it so they pay less taxes. So you're right, you're right, you're right. So if you don't have the money well there's there's nothing to pay you know that's true i don't i don't i don't have money i just spend it all I, yeah i mean you all you still yeah, have that's... to pay in uh in yeah. some some taxes but you don't have to pay um like that much. a million taxes when you just only have uh 50k on your bank you know yeah you only have yeah, to... but, yeah but that's where where it gets very very clever from germany because they say you pay your taxes before you can even buy something else uh, yeah it, it depends oh. and that's that's very clever to do that yeah um, so you don't have to worry about and, that like the work's already done yeah you know? but like in america yeah, bro, yeah. like they fucking like they it's a like cloak <laughs> and dagger out here dog like you and i feel bad for people from other countries that come here and try to buy anything it's like oh hey like how much does this cost oh it costs 3.99 and you go up there you pull out three dollars and 99 cents and they're like sir this will be four dollars and 64 cents and you're like no 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 the the tag yeah, says what? 3.99 it says 3.99 where did you get four dollars and 64 cents from like sir there's a tax they add the tax i didn't after. even know that yes and bro it's messed up i i realized the rest of the world operates on a completely 
a reasonable, reasonable transactional, yeah. uh, you know, operation when you go to to, to uh, buying and consuming items, right? Well, here in America, it makes absolutely no fucking sense, bro. You go to a store and like, and I'm, bro, my heart was crushed. I was six years old. I went into like a store to get a candy bar, and you know, I just learned how to count the right way. I guess. I mean, I learned how to count when I was a little kid, but you know, I, I just you know figured out my multiplication tables and addition tables and stuff like that. I'm like, oh you know quick maths so i walk up there and like hey like this candy bar is a um well i look at the, the price it says a dollar 99 i walk up and i have a dollar and 99 cents in pennies you know i'm like a chubby little kid i fucking throw the pennies on the counter and i'm like here you go and it's like oh sweetheart it's two dollars and 64 cents and i look at the lady like what no it's not i can read it says 199 <laughs> give it here's yeah. your 199 you can't rob me in a store bro like you're on camera like <laughs> just give me my candy bar and she's like get the fuck out of here <laughs> or give me my 64 cents <laughs> and i'm like oh my god yeah. it's terrible dude because think about it that's just with a candy bar imagine how demoralizing it is buying a car or a house or a game system like yeah like oh, whoa like I'll put it this way. So the console, right? You saw the the price for the consoles and stuff. I'm more tempted to get the console in Germany than in America because the console said, "Oh, it's only 3.99, bro, for the PS5, bro." Yeah. So you go to the store, you buy this console for 3.99, like $399, right? Well, you walk up there and you leave the store spending $550, dude. <gasps> that's what they don't yeah. tell you so i wish they I, I want the like what you see is what you get if we can get like a, a candidate or a president that changes our really crappy system <laughs> from like these these crypto bullshit ass signs because that's how they get you too it's a it's shady marketing here bro like um for instance i'm like hey man uh you want this burger i'll sell it to you for 30 payments of 25 cents and you're like, what? So, but the thing is, the 30 payments, right? That'll be a small ass letter, so you barely see it. All you'll see is 25 cents. You're like, oh, cool, like 25 cent burgers. Fuck yeah, dude, let's go and grab like a burger really quick. You pull up there with a quarter, and they're like, are you dumb? <laughs> Did you not see the 35 <laughs> payments of 25 cents? <laughs> it's so yeah. crazy. Like, bro, I, I don't like that about America. Like, the other, like, every other country seems to have it on lock. I went to Korea. I was I almost shed a tear, dude. I walked in the store and I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Like this drink right here, it says it's like three dollars and uh, twenty cents. I'm gonna pull out a ten dollar bill just to be safe, you know? Like <laughs> you can't catch me. And they're like, sir, that'll be three dollars and twenty cents exactly. And I looked at the lady and I'm like, there's no way. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I heard that in Germany, if you have five kids, you don't have to pay taxes. What? But less. You do, yeah. but less. You have yeah. to pay taxes for sure, but less. But say, you also get money because you have. You get, you so. get, you get like uh, in, in Germany it's called Kindergeld. It's like uh, child money. So you get for every kid you get you get money from the from the state. That's just, that's and, how it is here too. And yeah, yeah and that's that's um, and also if your parents are like uh, split up, um, then you get from one parent has to pay if if it's not fifty fifty from like a kid goes. Um, one week to the father, one week to the mother. If, yeah. if it's not 50-50, then the father or the mother has to pay um, money, and it's we call this Unterhalt. Um, child support. To, to yeah, yeah, child support. support the child, to support... Uh, yeah, but it's it's in the most cases it's probably not probably enough. the same like in America. It's a... like, yeah. Bro, America, that shit gets milked dry. I'm, I'm actually paying child support right now. That shit gets milked dry, bro. Like, it gets milked yeah. dry, bro. Like, literally, like... Uh, like there, I'll put it this way: there was a, a couple. Like, Doctor, you guys know who Doctor Dre is, right? He's a legend, a fucking yeah. legend. So yeah, Doctor sure. Dre yeah. is going through a divorce right now, right? And his his spouse. Well, first off, I'm not sure if they have a kid together. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. The kid's probably grown, so, there, so it's definitely not over like uh, kids. Um, but it is over um, <laughs> the, like the amount of alimony she wants him to pay while they're separated. Yeah. She wanted him to pay 1.5 million dollars a month. A month in alimony. And you know, and when she broke it down, let me tell you what she wanted the money for. She wanted $100,000 for donations to charity. She wanted $1.2 million for personal expenses. Expenses! She wanted uh, $10,000 to do her laundry. 
to do her laundry, bro. She wanted fifty thousand dollars for food. I'm like, yo, she's not built like a bear, and she's definitely not built like a village. So she does not need that much food a month, bro. That's, you must I be mean, eating like the show. fucking like the holy goats, you know, testicles or some shit. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, I kind of understand years. why she why she. Oh, for mm. She, like, why she requested that much money and stuff yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you see it too right because the thing is if you're my, my uh, i had a lawyer right and he said if you ask for something ridiculous the judge is going to turn it down the but they'll give you a, a more minimum um, yeah. amount of, of that so like let's say like i only ask you like like if we get into a legal dispute and i'm like yo i want uh 20 million and I, 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 let's say i want 20 dollars from you right the judge says no but he will have to give you 25 cents a, a month then to you that's chump change you're like yeah okay bet like yeah. i can give 25 25 cents i'll like yeah. i'll like sneeze and accidentally find a 20 a quarter on the ground like here you go you know but like let's say i'm like i want 20 million dollars from him the judge will be like nah that's too much but we will make him pay fifty thousand a month you're like ha, 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 yeah that's, yes. that's what i meant yeah dude it, it is so a smart least... move yeah it's it is but what but like i don't want to live in Air america Bro, I'm sure the court system is not too much di different in Germany. Like, maybe it is. I don't know. No, it it's yeah, not... it's. I think the court system is, uh, or the court and prison system. It's I think they're you. More fair over here, I think. I uh, wouldn't consider it more fair, but it's no. different because um, no, I think no, more qualified no. people are, um, you know, making the yeah. Laws. decisions yeah, not, yeah. not yeah decisions this is decisions exactly um so it could be it it can go horribly wrong mm -hmm. um there are people who are um, in prison for 20 year uh, for 20 years without ever doing anything because they had a terrible um, lawyer and uh, judge true but that's in america too probably but yeah. it, for the most part it's um pretty fair yeah, 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 I think, I think ju it's, it's just two two more systems. America is, is more about making business and money, and Germany it's like more um, about to re-social the the prisoners. Yeah. And it's like yeah. you go to prison, you have like if you if you're under uh, eighteen or maybe yeah. under twenty, it's like whatever you you get in there. Um, you have to you you have to go to school. You have to go study, and they prepare you for your rest of the life. So they yeah. prepare you to learn a job, to get in the social into in the middle of the social uh, of the community again. Yeah, and it, it's in like, America, it's not like that. Not, in not most at all. Cases. And it's it's so ironic because literally it's called, um, you know. Uh, uh, a correctional facility for a reason you know like like yeah you know, so like in america they call them correctional facilities we're like you're sentenced to five life sentences in prison i'm like bro what this is like overkill dog like like i mean yeah, yeah like bro just say like might as well just give them the death penalty or some shit you know but like and even if, they, yeah. and if it, even if it isn't the death penalty but bro like the whole point right because if you never correct the behavior and first off I've, i'm realizing this like universally um, pertaining to the military, pertaining to like the, the jobs in general and society in general. If you notice, no one cares about what is going on in your life that is personal, that is affecting you. If it's like, if it's making you depressed or upset, literally, and I, that's the harsh reality, I hate to say that, but no one cares, you know? Because uh, I'll put it this way. I remember asking, like my boss was asking me what, like, what's, what's wrong, man? What's going on with you, da da da? And as I was telling him what was going on, I paid attention to his face. And he's and like you could read his face very well. A dude can't hide his expression to save his life. He's like, oh my god, dude. Like, uh, when's he gonna stop yeah. fucking talking? Yeah. God damn. Like, but they asked the question, you know? So like the thing is, they only ask that question because they need to check off the box. And they're like, all right, cool, whatever. Well, you're still getting in trouble. I just wanted to figure out why you you're you know, you did what you did, da da da. They don't give a shit. Because the thing is, and I bring that up because like correctional facilities, the whole purpose of creating, calling it a correction, a correctional institution is to correct behavior that is deplorable so you can create a better society. But if you never curb the behavior, you're just breeding more people like them. And if you keep packing prisons with people, then you create a, a chaotic society. But no one cares because in America, it's all about the money, the money, money, money. It, well, uh, prison systems are privatized. Yeah. So if you have, if you meet a quota and stuff, right? Like if you don't have a certain amount of people occupying the prisons, 
they lose funding. If they lose funding, they shut down, yeah. they lose money. People who invest in those prisons lose money. So, I mean, it's it's crazy, bro. Like, yeah. You know, in Germany, there are no as a, prisons are not allowed to be private. They're all federal uh, prison, uh, prisons. So, taxpayers pay to that prisoners live good, you know? Damn. And that's, that's, that's some good. people critic this in Germany, but I also think it helps. Um, it helps the people who are in prison who are, you know, just, yeah. you know what I mean. It's okay. just, um, it, they get better. They can get better even if the people out doesn't can't, can't forgive them. They, yeah, for the they, most part. They have a second chance, pretty much. You know, yeah, the, the whole yeah. point is like to, to punish, to like, you know, uh, give you consequences, right? Not like put you in the ground forever like obviously yeah. like there's certain offenses that are going to be looked at a lot more harsh than others like if you take a life dude that's i'm not sure what that is what that looks like in germany you know like like what does that look like is, is like the sentencing like pretty bad or whatever like uh you know sometimes that's what also uh, many people criticize you can some people take a life and they don't even get to prison or just Whoa. are there for years yeah. or something like that so the the maximum penalty is 10 years for, for anything every, for 25 anything. you what you can get yeah 25 oh, sorry, 25 sorry. 25 not 10 25 I, I think a life sentence Isn't? in america is like 50 years when they say life and i'm like damn so because I, I i and then the reason why i only bring that up is because uh you know, I heard, there, there's been several people that got sentenced to like five or six life sentences. And I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, that makes no sense. But when you look at the length of a life sentence in America, I'm pretty sure it's 50 years. So like, but even still, bro, yeah, like getting six, sentenced to like 600 years in prison, bro. Like, like, bro, <laughs> that's so dumb. Like, what do you plan on getting out of that? And the, and the thing is, we, we also have a system... Um, like uh, everybody who's walking, uh, walking, um, working for the state, um, is called Beamter, and uh, you can. It's like a teacher is also somebody who works for the state. Not and everyone. me, yeah, but most of them, you know. I, I mean, everybody who's working in a, a federal school, not in a private school. Um, and mm. if me as a pupil goes to one of my teachers and give him like fifty euro. I can't do that. I can like, I think ten or fifteen, and and that's like um, so we have also a small little system to not corrupt and um, like uh, don't don't uh, yeah to, to keep the the um, police and something like that um, away from those um, those things. And then so the basically, yeah. So basically, when you are um, <laughs> uh, when you are a policist. Uh, I don't know. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 yeah. you can't have an, a, a job, um, a, a side job. You know, you can't have another job yeah. um, and make money out of it. You just, you only can have this one job. Like for judges, for for teachers, for the most part, no, but um, not all of them. So yeah, but, yeah it's the you know same I mean. federal, and then yeah. And, and the cool thing is, you can't like get fired instantly. Yeah, it, it's that's... really, really difficult to get out of that. That's it's pretty like, disgusting. They can they can say like um, to uh, um, to somebody to, maybe to a, a policeman and you can say like you go from Bayern to uh, I don't know Berlin, um, but they for the most part they can't fire you. They can, but it's very 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 unpopular to do that. Yeah. So, like, so if you once then, you have a a position, you're pretty much secured then. Yeah, yeah, if you're working for the state, no, no, we we're talking about like um, if you're working in a police maybe or in the fire department or something like that, then it's very very difficult to get you out of there again. You can like, get departed for like yeah. for example somewhere else, but you state. can't get fired, so you just yeah. will still get paid. It's, yeah, in my and opinion, pretty fucked up. So they can just like teachers, they can do whatever they want uh, yeah. practically if if they don't. Um, <laughs> violate any any um not rules but um laws they can't get fired so it, it has some good things here are pretty, pretty it has some good and some bad things yeah it's, it's like um and you have like um if you're not can't if you can't work anymore because you're too old you have like a very very uh 
good um so so you get still get money after you you uh, can't wor um, work anymore and that's that's like very very um cool if you if you work for the state because then you you know that's a problem you, you get a very good pension and that's the problem um with most of the people who are working out there um, that they don't get that. That's uh, always a topic of, of politic in, in, in Germany. Um, <coughs> because many people don't get a very good pension and yeah, can't, can't uh, can't, don't have many money to work after they can't work anymore. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah, because imagine you're an old guy or an old woman and you don't have money because you 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 work for your whole life but you don't have the money to like eat well i think that's, that's, that's because germany you know in 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 america you are some in some way you are um damn i'm always missing missing one word <laughs> um you have to look for yourself you know in germany it's like you get paid you can spend every money you have and you just get get paid in uh, uh, next month again and it's fine you if, if you have a job and if you work for 50 years, you will never run out of money because um, you will always get money. If you can't work anymore, you will get money from the state. So you, um, in comparison to, to America, you just don't get paid as much. But so you don't have the opportunity to do some big things, for example. But yeah, you get what I'm saying, I think. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And the cool thing about that is, is also that you like um, if you if you don't have a job if you like I don't know if you had maybe something bad happened something in your life and then you like get out of your job fired maybe and then the st state says yeah um, it's hard sphere we, that's like that's like the um, yeah, yeah the yeah. law for it and um, you you get like. 450 euros i think per month um no. from the state and they uh, oh, pay right. for your and no 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 it's it's 400, 450 euros i think um and they pay your um your and stuff like that and yeah yeah school or maybe like in, in, in living in, expenses sometimes yeah like, like like your your basic things in life you know um yeah. your uh, home um and your food and that's where you have like the 450 euros for for food uh, and so like other things you know I don't know maybe a new t-shirt or something like that. that that's also very cool so you don't have to get on the street yeah that's... but this is but this is a very uh, unsafety uh, thing because there are some people who don't want to work exactly but can work physically Exactly. And they just uh, getting the money for free, and they're just laying uh, on the couch and do nothing. And uh, other people go every day uh, to their work, so they have money. And uh, I don't know. It, it's it has uh, the pros and, the and definitely the cons. Well. Like obviously, yeah. like, whether it's a system that's designed to help people there will always be people that are there to abuse it always like that's just how it is um but yeah i definitely uh, i agree with you because that's how the welfare system here is in america like obviously it's put in place to help people get off their feet but a lot of people are like "Ooh, okay what if i just <laughs> say i need help and stuff right and then they get to milk yeah. that shit and then you know abuse it to a high end and then of course once the government sees that they're like well now you ruined it for everybody so the people who actually need help yeah. don't get the help that they, they need. But at the same time, here's my, I know it's going to sound harsh, but I really feel like, you know, everyone has a, not an equal shot at getting a job, but I feel like if you, like, because you have to put in an incredible amount of effort to, to land multiple jobs. Yes. I'm just saying, like, apply everywhere. I feel like there's, like, people who really want jobs will get jobs, right? No matter where yeah. you come from. Because there is something out there that is built for you. For instance, like, oh, no, nah, man, like, no McDonald's will hire me. I smell too bad. I haven't taken a shower in 40 weeks. Well, then work in the sewers, bro. Like, there's a sewer industry, dog. Like, they, they it's, the requirements won't be super high or anything. Work a construction job. Like, they hire people all 
the time like literally all yeah, the time yeah like but the thing is if you have other problems like alcohol or something then it's oh, not that easy anymore oh then that's obviously your problem like that, that's that's 100 yeah. your problem like if you have like alcohol problems bro like that that's a self-control issue and that's a whole another topic for another yeah. time like yeah but then you can't say like um, i'm getting a job right now that's the thing yes yeah. i'm I have maybe more problems, more bigger problems. But that's the thing. Like, and I have to like get them first out of my way, then I can go for a job. Yeah, it, it, it's, <laughs> I guess it's not as, as, as black and white. Everybody has their, their, their issues and their, their problems and stuff like that. So I guess that makes sense, but it's just like, dang, bro. Like, I guess it is, a, it's, there's more than meets the eye to a situation like that. But like I said, where, where there is a, situ, a, a program or a situation that is designed to help people, there will always be people that um, slide and slither, slither through the cracks to abuse the situation put in place. Yeah. And it's absolutely crazy. I think the state is very good there, uh, in, in, in to like see if there's somebody abusing it. I think, I think they, they can see that. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, and, and, if, and, if, and if they can't, because you know how, you know, elite the governments are with detecting yeah. problems. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and I think they're, they're, they're working like constantly on, um, if, if we go like worst case, like someone has alcohol problems and then they goes for, for like those uh, help. Then they, the state says, <coughs> if, if you search for help, then, then we have a very, very good system to like social guys and they, they, they help you with your problems and I think that's the more uh, that's that's like the more effective system to like stop abusing that. You know? Yeah, but this is yeah, but the, I don't know because this is often so. I have a friend too who is uh, a drug addict. Uh, he just um, real talk smoking weed every day and nonstop. He's real talk every day high. <laughs> and he's not going to work anymore um and he was uh he called a help hotline and talked with someone and the guy there uh, just didn't understand his problem yeah. so so he just talked uh yeah i'm feeling so good when i'm high and he's just like uh yeah but just stop it you must realize that uh, the life must have to go on uh, you have to go to work and so on. and my friend is and doesn't understanding this and the guy there just just don't want to listen to to the exact problem that he have he just saying just typical things you know yeah, but the thing is that there are Mary, uh, if if you really want that help, you need to go like somewhere, not not just call somebody, just go because um, and it's like in every single um, duty job and something like that, there there are not there are competent and incompetent people. That's like yeah. from the police to I don't know a president, <laughs> and um, yeah, that, that's like basically. Um, you have to you have to work with that. Yeah, yeah. but but, I, but the drugs here. But the topic drugs here in Germany is is very. It's just shitty here. The politics here in Germany with drugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's like so it's bad in any other it's... country. But yeah, it's bad. That's like that's like the the people the, just say don't do it. Yeah. yeah. But just but I'll call us okay. I'll call us okay. Yeah, yeah. Just don't yeah, do other like, things. We have. So we have a, a, a woman uh, here in Germany um, who just is. Uh, she's, she's like with... she's like uh, from from a from a different. Uh, she's like, um, what well, she's like uh, for the for the state working for the state from a from a um, yeah from a small little. Um, from the biggest, um, I'm missing the word. Uh... So there's the woman who's working with the topic drugs here in Germany, and she's <laughs> maybe, I think, over 60 years old, and she has nah. nothing. She's like 40. With... Yeah, okay, but she doesn't have. In uh... mind, yeah. Um, and the Drogenauftrag here in Deutschland. Er Thanks, Daniela Ludwig. She's like yeah, she's from a, a political party um, 
and and just like cares about uh, alcohol and and especially yeah. um, like weed if, if it's get legalized or not and um she's like dude her, her uh, she argues so dumb dude it's, it's like she really just yeah she oh, just said one time topic she's uh, she's just a politician so but yeah uh, whatever yeah it's probably like it's probably normal for most of the politicians and doesn't i think yeah i, I think it's, it's probably not her honest opinions it's more like lobby lobbying well because there, there will be this her honest opinion but i think she doesn't to shape her opinion in any way or form she just yeah. yeah you have to have this opinion so i don't know how this i don't know how much things about politics so yeah. it's, i think it's like the same thing with with uh cars it's it's yeah. like lobby it's like lobbying <laughs> yeah. lobbying so fucking hard well the it's lobby like... the car lobby in germany it's like the biggest in the world dude it's ridiculous it's like you would uh <laughs> It's like someone without a driver license would regulate all the cars, so yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> Absolutely true. She's like, she's like she's like no fucking qualities for for that job. Absolutely. She, yeah. she never did something in that uh, in that direction of job. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, man. But um, I really appreciate this, guys. I'm gonna definitely put a pen in the podcast. Right, it's probably been going for like I think two hours now or something like that. Maybe I think it's probably been like two hours or whatever. But it's just in Germany, three a.m. and I don't know. <laughs> I think one and a half. But... Yeah, probably one and a yeah. half. It's probably yeah. It, it's it's been decent. I'll probably try to keep them like this long or a bit longer, um, in general. But yo, I really appreciate it, guys. Seriously, um. And like obviously, I'll, we'll try. I'll, I'll try to do this at least once a week and post like nice, something nice. like this. Are you gonna cut this? Nice. How, how much you're gonna cut this? Probably a little bit, not a lot. Like I, I there, there was like a part of this where I was muting Noah, so he's gonna see that in the video, like because his like his, his <laughs> mic was doing some weird shit. So I went in there. You'll see me trying to server mute him and then mute him, and I just turn his mic down and I turn it back up later on. So my bad, dude. I, I'm, I'm letting you know now before you see it in the video. Because <laughs> you know, I, bro, I'm, I'm like the laziest editor on the planet like some days i'll actually do a really a really nice edit if i want it, it people to you know um see my editing style i guess but for the most part i put like zero effort into editing because i think it's better when it's raw dude yeah but i'm also not monetizing this because youtube will have my head dude if i fucking try to monetize this video <laughs> like what? Yeah, what? But it was fun yeah, it was fun though absolutely absolutely um yeah thank you guys once again, no problem, bro. Everything really means no problem. And, oh, yeah, that actually, dude, was right. It's an hour. Hey, what's up? Did you guys subscribe to the channel? Did you subscribe to the channel? Ah, well, if you haven't, make sure you do that. Also, we do have a Discord. The Discord link is always going to be in the description down below on any of my videos, and it's dope. What we do on Discord is pretty simple. A lot of you guys are, I'm collecting you guys from a bunch of different countries, a bunch of different places, and you guys want to teach me a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can join the Discord and teach me anything. You can send me any kind of messages and stuff. You can actually post memes. You can participate in the community and just make friends. Just Go ahead and join the Discord and see what, how, what what kind of situation you're getting into for yourself. Also, there's going to be some giveaways in the future. There's going to be some giveaways. But to create some incentive for that, I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Are you guys following me on Instagram? You know what my Instagram looks like? You probably don't know what my Instagram name is. <laughs> it's right there. Just go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's dope. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I, I do live streams every day. I try to, you know, engage with you guys in every way possible. I know a lot of, a lot, not a lot of creators are very engaging with their fan base. I try to be engaging. So just go ahead and check it out. There's no, no harm, no foul. Follow me on Twitter too. I honestly am trying to grow my Twitter. <laughs> but I don't really post that often on there. But when I do, you guys will be the first to see whatever post those will be. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys want shout outs or whatever, I don't know a lot of we have a lot of upcoming independent artists that have been hitting me up as of late I might create a series where I get I favor my international independent artists and stuff and I might promote you guys for free but just it might just be one or two a week you know I and mean, you guys can give me some feedback on that but all to say follow me on my social medias all right if you guys aren't doing that already you need to do that because that's a pretty big deal <laughs> I'll see you guys later but enjoy the content I create it's gonna be random uh, reaction videos a lot of a lot of everything reaction videos vlogs challenges cooking videos gaming videos anything you guys suggest 
when you join my Discord or message me on Instagram. But I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Follow me. Peace.